Welcome to my channel. The movie begins with illegal immigrants in a Thai shipping container, which is about to be smuggled towards South Korea. The smuggler notices that a man is coughing and seems to be sick, but he ignores him and closes the door and the shipping container leaves. When the shipping container arrives to Bundang and the smugglers opens the container, they find dead bodies of illegal immigrants. And there was a survivor named Monsai who crawls towards them, asking for help. They take him, but Monsai gets out of the vehicle and runs away. The smuggler tries to chase him, but Monsai successfully escapes. Meanwhile, Jigu, a rescuer, was given a mission to rescue a woman who fell with her car into a deep hole. When he opens the car's door, he was stunned by the beauty of the woman. After rescuing her, he tries to approach her, but she tells him not to brag, because it was just his job. The woman is a doctor named Inhe. When she was at work, she informs Dr. Yang, a professor, that she lost her research, so she was scolded. Later that day, Inhe meets Jigu and asks him to get her bag from the fallen car. He refuses and explains that his job does not include rescuing personal things, but still he goes into the hole to get Inhe's bag with the help of his colleague. In the end, Jigu successfully gets her bag. Later, as Jigu's friend was checking inside the bag, a phone rang. Jigu answers, it was Inhei's daughter, Miru. He then meets her in the park and gives her the bag of her mom along with his phone number and leaves. On the other hand, the smuggler heads towards a pharmacy to buy medicine. Since his sickness worsens, as he was buying medicine, he coughs continuously, spreading the virus to everyone in the pharmacy, and so on the virus spreads in the city, in transportation and schools. While the smuggler was looking for Monsai, suddenly his brother's symptoms worsens and he coughs blood, so he takes him to hospital. Inhe receives a call from work telling her that there is an emergency situation. She rushes to the hospital. After checking the smuggler, she finds his phone where she sees a footage of the shipping container with dead bodies. She declares that the virus that infected patient is a possible first avian flu in South Korea. Meanwhile, while wandering alone, Miru encounters Monsai who saves her from a rushing car. He tells her to go away because he's sick, yet she keeps following him. She gives him food and tells him to wait as she asks for help. Miru returns with Jigu, but Monsai is gone. Jigu asks where her mom is. She tells him that she's at work, so he takes her with him. The virus keeps spreading, and the hospitals are getting filled by infected people. Meanwhile, the doctors and congressmen are having an urgent meeting. Dr. Yang suggested to lock down Bundang, but the congressman objects. Inhe tells Dr. Yang that a survivor has escaped from the container and that he may have the anti Body. The virus keeps spreading and hospitals are filled and the city is in a big chaos. As the doctors and politicians are about to leave through the helicopters, Inhe tells the doctor she needs to stay to get her daughter first. Jigu loses Miru in the supermarket after he left her in order to help a woman nearly falling. When the doctors and politicians arrive in Seoul, they meet the Prime Minister and the President. The Prime Minister declares to lock down Bundang. While Dr. Yang proceeds to inform people about the virus and its consequences, people of Bundang panics while Inhe and Jigu search for Miru in the crowd after finding her. Inhe asks Jigu to come with her to leave to Seoul, but he refuses and tells her that he, f he needs to stay to perform his duty as a rescuer. When Inhe and Miru were about to leave the city, the officers stopped them after finding out that Miru has a fever and is coughing, and they were forced to go to facility quarantine. In the testing area, Inhe observes that Miru has the symptoms. Fearing that they will be separated, she sneaks her daughter from the inspection stuff. Later that day, Jigu offers food to Inhe and sees Miru is sick. She tells him that she's taking precautions. Meanwhile, a soldier finds Monsai in the quarantine facility and the doctors asks for Inhe. Inhe takes Miru to the tent. 
He got scared. She tells him that she won't harm him and she's just trying to save her daughter. Monsai recognized Miru, so he let Inhe extract the antibody from him. As Inhe injects the antibody to Miru, the soldiers arrived, they put Inhe to sleep and Miru was taken to the infected zone. Jigu sees the soldier taking her away and follows him. He ends up in a large hall with piles of severely sick people who are not dead yet but already placed in body bags. When he goes upstairs, he witnesses a shocking scene. A large crane bringing the pile of bodies and throwing them in fire. He started looking for Miru. As a large flame burns the bodies, Jigu suddenly hears the sound of Miru's phone ring in the pile. He follows the sound and finds Miru wrapped up in a plastic bag and takes her away. Meanwhile, a young soldier sees his mother in the infected zone. He bursts into tears and anger. He then tells people that there's no treat and that they will end up burnt alive. The crowd goes wild and erupts out of the camp. The public outburst made the doctors evacuate Monsai from the quarantine camp to preserve the antibody. As they were leaving, the smuggler notices Monsai and stabs him along with Inhe's fellow doctor, which forced Inhe to evacuate with them. Back in Seoul, the president, who is under pressure by a member of the UN, Schneider, to eliminate the infected, orders the army to stand down and wait for the antibody. However, as the ambulance arrives to Seoul, Monsai dies and the antibody is lost. After this, the Prime Minister gives permission to shoot the rousing pit population, who tries to cross the border to Seoul. Meanwhile, Jigu holding Miru in the midst of the shootout, Inhe rushes towards Miru, but she is stopped by soldiers. Meanwhile, a man overhears Jigu saying that Miru has the antibody. He takes her and tries to extract her blood. Fortunately, Jigu arrives and they got into a fierce fight, but Jigu manages to kill the man. At the same time, Inhe arrives at the border and talks to the president and informs him that Miru has a possible antibody and she has totally been cured of the virus. Hearing this, the president orders the military to cease fire. However, Schneider tells them to keep shooting. Shortly after, on the border, Miru and Inhe seize each other. When Inhe runs towards Miru, she's shot. After that, Miru tells them not to kill her mom. The soldiers stand back. Seeing this, Schneider calls an airstrike. This enlarges the president and he orders the South Korean military to fire missiles at the fighter planes if they enter Bundang. At last, Schneider cancels the order. In the end, Miru was sent to Seoul to create a vaccine. The movie ends with the vaccine being successful and Jigu and Inhe started their life together. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you.